In this lecture, we will learn how to assign frame loads. There are three types of frame loads that can be assigned to a frame in the eTest program. To do that, we need to go left click on assign frame loads. Here you will see that there are three types of frame load. That is point, distributed, temperature. Both type is open structure event parameter. To study point load, we left click on point. Frame load assignment point window will open. On the top is a load pattern name. Below that, there are two options. That is forces and moments. On the right, add to existing load, replace existing load and delete existing loads. Below that, you will find the distance and the load value. Now, now, if we want to assign at middle point a load of 100 kilopascal and the direction of load has to be gravity and load pattern name can be for example like we select the frame we select add to existing load and we left click on apply so at this frame at 0 0.5 distance from starting point 100 kilopascal load is applied to check that we need to left click on this frame and then right click again here you will see that point force of 100 kilopascal at 14 feet because total length is 28 feet has been applied if we want to apply two point load to a particular frame what we can do is that we need to left click on this frame at, for example if f at 0 0.25 distance or load of 50 kilopascal has to be applied and zero at 0 0.5 distance load of 100 kilopascal has to be applied direction of load application can be for example global x that is this direction and we when we left click on add to existing load load pattern name can be dead left click on apply here you will see that at 0 0.25 distance and at 0 0.5 distance this load has been applied next option that we have to study is distributed load to do that we need to go to assign frame load distributed here you will see that there are various load pattern name load pattern name can be super dead direction of load application application can be gravity here you will see that there are two options with which we can apply the load first is trapezoidal load second is uniform load if if we want to apply trapezoidal load, we need to enter the distance and we need to enter the load at that distance. And if you want to apply uniform load, we can just left click here and enter the value. For example, 15 kilopascal per feet. We select the frame on, on which we want to apply this load, left click on apply. So at this point, a uniformly distributed load is applied of 15 kilopascal per, per feet. Now, in the second case, if you want to apply trapezoidal load, for example, to this frame, we need to select the load pattern name, we need to select the force, distance and load. For example, if, if it starts at 10 at 0 0.25 distance it is around 50 at 0 0.75 distance it is around 100 and then 4 it is back to 0 so this trapezoidal load is now applied to this frame we left click on ok option now third option that we need to study is temperature load temperature load as we had studied initially also can be applied to joints but it can also be applied to frame for example if along the frame where there is a uniform temperature change of for example 15 Fahrenheit and if you want also want to include the effect of joint temperatures for example if you want to apply a load pattern pattern of 15 Fahrenheit. For example, if we want to apply uniform temperature change of 15 degree Fahrenheit to this particular frame, we need to add the existing temperature, left click on apply. So we had applied a load 15 degree temperature change to this particular beam.